I remember calling uh, Dennis saying, uh, I found this guy and he's a really good theater director. <laughs> and Dennis said, theater world? <laughs> We're in dance music, man. I didn't know Armin, I didn't know the dancer. And I had no idea even of the impact of Armin van Buren. Combining those two worlds, just like theater and dance, that was, I think for all of us, a, a really big challenge. My concern was that we should keep Armin only a dance event for the dance fans. In this episode, we're going to take a closer look at what it takes to create one of the biggest touring dance shows ever, Armin only Intense. For Armin van Buren, it meant a new step in his already impressive career. He had to combine a theater show and a non-stop six-hour DJ set in one. But with Armin only, we, I want to reach a little bit towards the impact that some of the theater shows have. I realized that we needed professional help from the world of theater. So I spoke with my good friend, Jochem Meijer. He's a famous uh, Dutch comedian. And Jochem said to me, well, I'm working with this guy, this, this guy from the theater world called Jos T. Armin asked me, are you interested to talk to me? Of course. And I think even the next day we already met together with Dennis. Um, and from there, poof, it started. The first meeting I had with Jos was really inspiring actually. Their vision about setting a show is so completely different than, than what we used to do. The first time we worked with Jos was uh, during the inauguration of our new king. There Jos had a very important role to combine the orchestra and the dance music of Armin. When the king actually broke protocol and left his ship to come on stage, that was a day we will never forget. That was one of the highlights of my life. That's something I'll never forget, you know. After that, it was time to take it to the next step, the Armin Only Intense Show. Yo said to me in our very first meeting, if you choose to do something live, like a singer or a dancer or a drummer, it has to be right. We have to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse and rehearse. Tryouts are really uncommon for EDM shows. And besides that, it's extremely expensive. We had to fly in everybody, we had to build a stage, we had to rent a venue for two weeks. We did the rehearsals in the end and the tryout shows, and I'm really glad that in the end we decided to do it. One of the important obstacles that they had to overcome was to create something that has never been done before. The nice thing about Armin only with the singers we can create just different moments. So once Laura is playing the piano, you can breathe as an audience because really for a couple of minutes becomes very uh, small and, and almost silent and then it hits again. Intense is by far the biggest thing I've ever done. The most crazy thing, the most expensive thing. Sander made this wonderful uh, lineup of special effects. We had the real snow, we had the fireworks even up in the, in the ceiling. And of course, the, the, the balloons of the ping pong number. Where you can really see two worlds like theater and dance falling together. I think in the loan, you know, we have like the visuals are really decor background. You know, you have like dancers actually walking on the street. I think when we do these silent hearts, uh, that's one of my favorite moments of the show. We have the six singers, we have the full band on the stage. It's sort of a, a, a highlight in the set. It's that's when everything elevates, when everything sort of comes together. proud of it and it's for me it's just, this is next level next time in Armin only the road movie the show goes to Mumbai Welcome in India.
in these countries, I'm always worried if the power keeps running, you know. But uh, I think it will. When there's a problem, there's immediately 10 people, all of a sudden, out of the blue, helping us out. So it's great. They really want to make this show happen. 